um, which is going to be on QualityNet Confluence and QualityNet Slack integration. And you'll see that we do have quite a few um, presenters today. We interrupt this QNET chat for a special report. QualityNet Confluence is now integrated with QualityNet Slack. I repeat, QualityNet Confluence is integrated with CCSQ QualityNet Slack. Here with the details is Snapper, our new QualityNet Slack correspondent. Thanks, Barb. Yes, QualityNet Slack and Confluence were actually integrated a year ago. But so many users are not aware of this great feature that we thought we'd do a follow-up report. So, what is the impact of the Slack Confluence integration? Simple! It allows the whole team to join in one conversation. Confluence securely sends notifications about Confluence space updates to any specified QualityNet Slack channel. That means your whole team sees when a blog post is created, a page is created or updated, or a calendar event is created. I'd like to now throw this over to Trevor Dowd on the QualityNet Slack team to demonstrate how to connect a QualityNet Confluence space to a QualityNet Slack channel. Thank you, Snapper. You're going to make a great addition to the squad. So like Snapper said, I'm going to walk you through how to use this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the admin button, um, and this can be found either in the top right um, or from the settings in the bottom left as well. There's a way to get to it with integrations. Um, once you get to the admin uh, section, you're going to select the Slack integration, which will pull up a screen uh, that will prompt you to connect to your Slack account. If you're not signed into your Slack account, um, it will prompt you to sign into your Slack account, um, and that will be the same as any sort of HARP. Um, signing in. Uh, otherwise, if you're already signed in, it will just take you to the screen where it will say, hey, do you want to let um, Confluence have access to all these different things? You're going to hit allow, and then it will take you to this final screen, this third screen, um, which will let you select what space you want to integrate with what Slack channel. Um, you have to be a member of that Slack channel, so you can't go around um, connecting it to different channels that you're not a part of, but any channel you're a part of, you should find in the Slack channel um, dropdown in the same any space that you are on, you should find in the space. You'll press add and it will be set up. Now, just a couple helpful tips once you get it set up um, to go over, uh, you, you can very much customize, you know, what you want actually done in those spaces. So um, I know Snapper went over that you can have it for every blog post page created, page update or calendar event. Um, it defaults to having all of those, but say you're only really interested in when, it, when something's created, you can get rid of uh, the page update, or maybe you're only interested in updates, you can get rid of all the creations. Uh, this will allow you to have a less congested um, Slack channel where you're not going over every single uh, detail. And so to do this, you're going to uh, go to those notification settings, and then you just have to make sure that you press done. Uh, if you don't press done, it won't save, um, and you'll be left with whatever it was beforehand. Now, once you save it, it will send a message saying that the notifications were updated. Uh, so that way your channel knows that um, it will no longer be sending uh, certain types of messages. Um, it's just a good way to keep your whole team updated on what is integrated and what's not in the Slack workspace. So you can broadcast to multiple channels. So you can have the same page going to multiple different channels. Uh, we find this is a great way to um, connect across maybe multiple teams, or if you're working with another team um, and you need to keep them updated, you can have it go to both of your internal channels. Um, and it does also work um, broadcasting multiple spaces to um, a single channel, but we suggest creating multiple channels instead um, for each uh, integration because the 
it will all the messages will come from Confluence server, so it can be hard to tell where those messages are exactly coming from, um, as well as uh, it will create a very cluttered uh, channel that will be hard to track what's going on when. So then there's just some helpful slash commands. This is from the Slack side. So after you set it up in the Confluence, um, you can go to Slack um, and you will be able to pull up this slash command. So if you forget it, no worries, you can pull this up at any time. Um, and you can then just type these slash commands in any channel that is integrated with it. And it will give you different help uh, with the server, the account, um, and then you can search across the Confluence pages that are integrated in that channel. Um, as well with the slash search command. So uh, are there any questions at this time? If not, I think um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out with us to help Slack or you can create a ticket on the JIRA project uh, and we will reach out to you as soon as we can. That was excellent, Trevor and Snapper. And Snapper, welcome aboard. What a wonderful addition you'll make to our QNET news team. Thanks, Barb. So happy to be here. See you at the next broadcast.